New tonight, a Flagstaff company says it will stop using Havasupai horses after travelers say they're being severely neglected. Now, you may remember 12 News first reported back in April about a man arrested for abusing his pack of horses in Havasupai. Now, the abuse of other horses now coming to light, and it's at the center of a social media campaign. Havasupai Falls at the bottom of the Grand Canyon is known for its stunning beauty. 25,000 people from all over the world visit every year. But there's a dark secret lurking there, one of horrific abuse towards some of the horses and mules that carry visitors' gear to the bottom. It's brutal. It was really brutal. Katie Magnavaca and her sister were looking forward to their hike to Havasu Falls, but say the animal abuse they witnessed ruined what could have been a trip of a lifetime. We are not known to be animal rights activists. I mean, we don't. We rarely post things that are controversial on Facebook. Migliavaca took pictures of horses with gaping wounds, hair rubbed off their backs from carrying several hundred pounds of gear up and down the trail day in and day out. She posted the images on Facebook and it's gone viral. Thousands of people have commented. Some claim to have witnessed similar abuse and were equally horrified. She's also spoken directly with the U.S. Attorney's Office, the same office which prosecuted Leland Joe of Havasupai for horse abuse two months ago. This has nothing to do with with the tribe or attacking the people, you know, all of the people that live there. It's it's about just right and wrong. I don't care who it is. And as word spreads, at least one Flagstaff company, Wildland Trekking, announcing it will no longer use the horses because of the way they're being treated. Miglevaca wants other companies to stop using the horses too and hopes if tourists see the animal abuse, they speak up about it as well. If you travel down there and you see something that is wrong speak up about it absolutely horrifying now there is a petition being circulated online through the organization called save havasu horses with nearly 200,000 signatures already on it attempting to end this abuse now we contacted the havasupai tribal office for comment the person who picked up the phone hung up on our producer